YouTubers, this is Cindy Relly once again coming in, and I want to do a video on I saw it so, on. YouTube. There has been so many things going around YouTube, and I found myself falling in the trap of buying things that are are suggested on YouTube. So I'm just gonna go over some of the things that I would have never went in the store and bought without seeing it on YouTube or without someone telling me on YouTube that it was great or they wore it or I saw it and I liked it or something like that. Elf. <laughs> I never paid attention to Elf. Um, I shop at Target a lot but never looked at the dollar makeup Elf. Um, I just didn't. I don't know. I just didn't. So, I saw it on YouTube. Elf finishing spray. Uh, and this one right here. Um, I think it's like three dollars. This is a recent purchase. I saw this on. Hmm, I think it was Pretty Girl, pretty and girl. she did her makeup, and she was like, came back, voila! And I was like, oh my god, I need that. What? I don't know what it did, if it made a difference, but yeah, I had to go get it. I saw it on YouTube, so I got the finishing spray. And then I saw someone using their concealer. Um, and she was like, girl, it's a dollar concealer. Yeah, I mean, I use this just as good, you know. And I never really use concealer. So the whole, like, paint not your eyebrows and, and, and smooth not your lips and all that kind of stuff. I just never did it. I mean, I don't know. It just wasn't a part of my step. Um, under eyes... I mean, I had under eyes, but I guess I wasn't paying attention. But until I saw it on YouTube and shoot, everybody was doing it. So, okay. When I got the dollar concealer. Okay. Dollar concealer. I will not buy the dollar concealer again. I mean, I guess if that's all you can do, okay. But no. No dollar concealer. I think I broke out. But I'm not saying that you break out. But I, I never had bumps on my face. And I had bumps on my face. And I was using the dollar concealer. Disclaimer. I'm not saying it's going to happen to everybody, but it happened to me. So, that's one. No. Um, Elf Kabuki Brush. Okay, first of all, Kabuki Brush um, is something that I saw on YouTube. I saw Kim Kardashian's makeup artist using it. Only he didn't use no Elf one, but he was using one to put the makeup on and um, set her makeup in with it. It's supposed to be like really soft and cover everything. And so when I started pricing the Kabuki brushes, okay, first of all, I don't mind spending money on products. I just don't want to spend on brushes. I don't know what it is. I don't want to pay for brushes. I just don't want to pay for brushes. And I know it's all in the brush and you need a good brush to make everything look right. I just don't want to pay like Mac prices for brushes so I'm always looking for brush sets and brushes that are just as good as going to Sephora Mac or anything like that <clears throat> so I said what the heck <clears throat> I think the the Kabuki brush was six dollars I know it wasn't more than six dollars something like that and so I got the elf Kabuki brush now this one right here I have to say yes goodbye uh, six dollars is very soft I mean I haven't seen any shedding I haven't washed it yet I, I use like a brush cleaner spray and um I rub it off like that I don't really soak mine in water but I like this this I, I, I'll say that this was a good side on YouTube oh next the elf golden bronzer palette thingy yeah um saw this on YouTube raving about it use it to bronze yourself and and contour and, ooh, and you know ooh. i think it was a dollar i don't remember yeah i didn't use that much of it it's kind of chalky for my skin color but i mean for a dollar you can keep it around i already had some bronzer i don't even know why i went and bought it because um, a couple years ago, Chanel had like a limited edition bronzer that I got from them. So, I used that. I actually like that one. Um, I don't know why I wouldn't got another bronzer. Didn't need one. But, um, 
It was a dollar. I think it was a dollar. That's the problem about being a product junkie, cause you you just buy stuff. Like if somebody's like, oh my god, it, I, it made me feel so good. I like literally get off YouTube, get in my car, and go to Target trying to find the stuff. And if it's at the mall, as soon as I get off the next day, I'm like racing to the mall to find whatever it is that was oh so great on them last night that I saw it on YouTube. I wonder if anybody else is like that. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have said that. Okay, so the next thing on Elf is the Elf palette. Okay, so I got this idea from mm, Nietzsche V. I think it was Nietzsche V. So she was saying, like, if you want a max starter kit, um, well, if you want a palette, you know, instead of buying, like, the MAC palettes. I, I, so she was saying, like, buy the little MAC, I mean, the ELF palette thingy, and you can go and buy, like, MAC colors and put it in here. So my bright idea was, oh, let me go buy, like, me a ELF palette thing, and it's the ELF, I think it's a dollar. It's a dollar, it comes empty. And then they sell their little palette colors. And I actually bought a color. Um, the palette colors to put in here. Well, when I got home and I bought like one color and put it in here. I realized that I'm kind of a makeup snob. And I don't want my MAC in the e.l.f. thing. I just don't. So, unless I buy me three more dollar colors. Yeah. I'm not going to be doing that. And I don't really know how the elf eyeshadows are, so I have to check that out.